Okay, so today we are going to go through how to use Noodle Tools. Noodle Tools is a citation maker that collects and keeps all of your citations together while you do your research. There are three different ways to access Noodle Tools. The first way is through the library homepage found right here. It's this little blue man with his arms raised up labeled Noodle Tools Citations. The second way is to just type in noodletools.com and it will take you to their Noodle Tools page. The final way is through your Office 365 email. Once you're logged in, go ahead and go up to the waffle up here, click on all apps. It is in alphabetical order, so we're going to go down here where it says other, and then go in alphabetical order down to Noodle Tools right here. Once you click on there, it's going to ask you to sign up or pick your account. You just sign in with your Office 365 account or if you've already signed in, go ahead and click on that. Now that you are logged in, you are going to enter this project page. The first thing you need to do is create a new project. To do that, go on up here to where it says new project, it's a green button. The first thing it asks you to do is to title your project. This can be the topic that you're writing about, it can be the project name, it can be the class you're taking, it can even be the date. Next is going to ask you for the citation style. This is what kind of cite, uh, style, MLA, APA, or Chicago um, that your teacher asks you for. Most teachers ask for the MLA. The final thing it's asking for is the citation level. If you're clicking on starter, you only get six. If you click on junior, you get just a limited amount or a simplified version. Advanced is what I always click on because it gives me all the options no matter what I am what I decide to cite. Once you have filled out this box, go ahead and click submit. All right, now that we are in our project, you can see over here we can type in our project details including the research question, our thesis, and even write our paper. For us though, we are going to focus just on adding our citations. To do that in the top middle you can see a box that is labeled sources. Go ahead and click on that. From there, this is going to be where all of your citations are kept. We are going to create our first new citation. To do that, go ahead in the top left hand corner, there is a green button labeled create new citation. Go ahead and click on that. From there, it's going to ask us where our citation is coming from, whether it's a database, any website, a printed document, whether we saw it or viewed it online, or if it's an ebook, app, or file. For us, we're going to click on website, and you can see all these different options that come from clicking on the advanced button for our citation level. Over here in this first column in the yellow boxes labeled web page, nine times out of ten, this is what you're going to be citing. So go ahead and click on web page and we are now ready to start creating our citation. Now if you have created a citation before, this should all look very familiar. It should be asking us all the different questions needed in order to create that citation. What makes Noodle Tools different than other citation makers is that it's going to also teach us how to create our citation. When you click on any of these boxes, Another box is going to pop up sort of showing you exactly how and why you are adding something in there. This is just a way to help you understand what you're putting in, why you're putting in, and in the case of down here where it says publisher of the site, if we need to leave this section blank. Okay, so now that we have gotten our Noodle Tools ready to cite and we have found our article, we are now ready to actually fill out all of these boxes. I have actually put uh, my screen into a split screen so I can see both my article and my citation maker. This is a wonderful resource to use. It can be done on any website or any computer available. So the article that I found is labeled Scientists Need Your Help to Name Jupiter's Newly Discovered Moons. And the first box that we have to fill out is the URL. To do that, go ahead and come up here in that URL box and click just once. Here you can either right click copy or you can do control C. Then you're going to come over here to where it is labeled URL and click 
and then you can either right click paste or control V as in violin to copy and paste that URL in. Next we need to add the date of publication. The date of publication is February 23rd, 2019. So I'm going to come over here and where it says date of publication, I will drop that menu down and put in February 23rd, 2019. Next, we need to put in that most recent date of access. This is the date when you most recently viewed this article. It is very important that you put that date in because let's say in three days they actually get a title for this uh, new moon and they update this article, but you do not have that in your paper. You want your teacher to know that you looked at this article before it's been updated. To do that rather quickly, if you click on that today question mark, it will actually put today's date in. Next, it's going to ask us for the contributor or who created this web page. Here where it says role, if you drop it down, there are three different options. The first is author, second editor, and then translator. For most news articles, it is almost always going to be an author. And you can see her name right here, Sophie Lewis. So in first name, I'm going to type in Sophie. She does not have a middle name at, in there, so I'm going to leave that box blank. And then where it says last name or group, I'm going to put Lewis. If you have an editor, a lot of times it's a group. And so you're going to leave these two boxes empty and just put in this group name here. Next is going to ask us for the web page or document article title. That is this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Now you can see I typed that in exactly like the article title is here, but you can see that I got this little tri caution triangle. When I hover my mouse over it, it's going to tell me that I need to capitalize all of these words. So I need to capitalize need, your, help, name, newly discovered, and moons. This is simply the program showing me that for MLA citations, the entire title needs to be cited. This makes sure that your citation is correct the first time you do it and you don't have to go back. Now if I've done that correctly, you can see I still have a caution sign, so I need to go in, oh, right here. Now I've done it correctly, that, type, that little caution symbol is gone. Underneath there you can see it says English translation of document article title. It is already in English, so we're going to skip this box. Next we're going to be putting in the name of the website. The website name is almost always found in the top left hand corner, or in our case, it's found right here in the middle, CBS News. So I'm going to type in. Next, it's going to ask us for the publisher of the site. If you remember from earlier, when I clicked on this box, this very large box pops up telling me that there are different reasons for why this box should not be filled and that is if the publisher name is the same as the site name, if the publisher is also the author, or if it's a service like Google or WordPress. To find this, you're going to have to look for that copyright statement. It is always found at the very bottom of the page. You can either scroll down to the very bottom, or you can always click the end button. You can see here it says copyright 2019, and we have CBS Interactive Inc. So that's what I'm going to type in here. You can see I have that caution, so it wants me to get rid of the ink. Now there are no contributors to the site as a whole. That would be found down here. There is no revisions or anything like that. So we are actually done with our citation. The very last thing we have is the annotation section here with this box here. It is labeled include this source in my final work cited and it's already checked. Never uncheck that button. If you do uncheck it, then it will not show up on your work cited and that would mean that you've done all this work for no reason. If you have filled in all of your boxes, 
you can go ahead and go down here and click on that green save button. Once you have clicked save, it now has taken us back to our sources section. If you have another citation to create, you can go on up here and click on that create new citation to add to your sources. I just want to show you a few things that you can do once you have created your citation. If you have remembered to add the entire URL, you have the option over here where it says view live web page to have a direct link back to the article that you just cited. This is very nice because when you're dealing with news articles or news websites, news is updated so frequently that they, the web pages change instantly. If you have that link on your Noodle Tools, it will take you directly there rather than spending 20 minutes trying to refine your article. Also, if you come over here where it says Options, and you bring that option menu down. You have edit, so you can go back in and change anything within your citation. Copy, delete. You also have this in-text reference. When I click this in-text reference, it's going to show me how to actually cite this within my text. So right here, I type out my sentence, and then in parentheses, I do Lewis, period. This is very simple, very easy, and will help make sure that your citations are 100% accurate within your paper as well. Okay, so now that you have created all of your citations, the very last thing to do is to create a Works Cited. To create that Works Cited page, you're going to come over here where it says Print Export and drop down that menu. Most of the time, you're just going to click on Print Export to Word, and it will open uh, depending on your web browser. If you're using Firefox, the open option will be over here. If you're using Internet Explorer, it'll be found here. And Chrome, it's found over here. Go ahead and open your document. And that word page is going to show up. And there is your Works Cited. If you were to have more than one citation um, on your Works Cited, you will show up here in alphabetical order. It will. I can guarantee that it will be 100% accurate. Noodle Tools is a paid for program, and so they want to make sure that your citation is 100% accurate 100% of the time. If you have followed all of the directions found in when creating your citation, it will be perfect here. Uh, if you have any questions on how to do any of these different steps, or you need additional help, or something's not working, your school librarian is the resident expert on all things Noodle Tools and would be more than happy to help you. I hope this video was helpful and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.